In this problem, we are finding the quotient of two functions. That is, one function divided by another. f of x here is x minus 2 over x plus 3, and g of x is x over x plus 3. And we have to find f of x divided by g of x. And then we also have to give its domain. So when we have fractions and we're doing division, so it's f divided by g, we can actually rewrite this as a multiplication problem by turning the second fraction, the one you're dividing by, upside down, taking the reciprocal of it. So I'm going to rewrite it this way. So x minus 2 over x plus 3, that's f of x, now multiplied by the reciprocal of g of x, which is x plus 3 over x. And as you can see, uh, something really nice happens here. We can cancel the x plus 3, and we just get x minus 2 over x. So we really had hardly any work to do at all. This is our quotient. Now, we need to find the domain, and clearly x cannot be 0. But there's more going on here. I'm, let me just write this down, make a note of it. x cannot be 0. In a quotient of functions, you can't have 0 in the denominator of your quotient, but you also can't have 0 in the denominator of each of the original functions. The, the quotient of functions, the domain has to be uh, include you know, the domain of the uh, original functions. As you can see in both of these, we have x plus 3 in the denominator. So you can't have a negative 3. Otherwise, that would make the denominator 0 in both of these original functions. So, 0 and 3, negative 3, are excluded values. So if we were going to write this uh, in interval notation, we would have, let me put this on a number line, we've got negative 3 here, that's a hole in the graph, and we've got 0, that's a hole in the graph. So we've got three intervals, so we'll make a union of three intervals. This first one is negative infinity up to negative 3 and not including. So I'm using the curved uh, bracket, the parentheses here. And then we have negative 3 up to 0. Again, it doesn't include either of those values. And then we have 0, again, not including that value, that value, up to positive infinity. And of course, we don't include negative infinity or positive infinity. Uh, because there's no actual value we can state for that. So this is the domain of this quotient of functions, and that is how to determine what a quotient of functions is.